Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Nicholas. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Today we're doing a quick review on the Bleak Hummingbird wireless Bluetooth earphones. So first off, a quick shout out to Bleak for reaching out to me, you know, giving me this opportunity to review one of their earphones over here. Now the Hummingbird series has a lot of different features and I'm here to give you one of my honest opinion and review of the Bleak Hummingbird. Before we start off with anything, this earphone here costs about 80 bucks, 80 USD which is about 300 ringgit. The packaging itself, it's very very premium, very high quality. Um, definitely you'll get your earphones here right out of the box. There are three different colors, so I've gone with the red option. Um, after that, you get your quick startup guide. And over here, we have different sizes of earbuds. To be honest, I have not seen any company that gives this much um, varieties and options for earbuds. But yeah, they make sure they want to ensure, you know, your user gets the most comfortable experience. Over here, there's a short USB charger. Um, unfortunately, this is not the Type C, which I honestly hoping that it was, but unfortunately not. And last but not least, in the box, we have got a protector case for you to keep your earphones while you're traveling, which is a very nice touch. The stitchings and everything feels very, very premium, and I'm actually loving it. All right, so let's set everything aside and jump straight into the review of the earphone itself, which I think it's what you guys are mostly interested about. There are a few couple of interesting features that this earphone offers, but one of the key, I think one of the key and main component that everyone looks into an earphone would definitely be the sound quality. Usually I don't have any high expectations for um, earphones, especially when they're Bluetooth, because as you know, Bluetooth and wireless, they wouldn't, they're not as pumped, not as powerful compared to um, the USB jack headphone jack itself it would never be as powerful compared to that but surprisingly for the hummingbird series i wouldn't say it's one of the best audio that i've ever heard but it really does live up to its price i would say the mids the bass and the treble everything it's very well balanced you know there's not too it's not too bassy and it's not very sharp so everything is just fine but don't expect crazy audio like the sennheiser or Audio Technica, yeah, that's not that's not what it is here. As for the wireless and Bluetooth, I think this does a pretty good job. The range is good, the connection is pretty strong. I've tested a few couple of um, you know Bluetooth earphones in the past, and a lot of times the connection would just break. You know, music cutting in and out that is very very annoying. It says here that the Hummingbird supports quick charge, so a charge of ten minutes would give you an impressive playback of one hour, which I think it's, it does deliver. Another thing to note about the Hummingbird series is that it has an ultra long battery life. So at a full charge, it can deliver up to 14.5 hours of uninterrupted music. So that is, to be honest, pretty crazy. Because it's wireless, I think this mostly targets the audience that would you know, go to the gym often, exercise and stuff. So the Hummingbird series is sweat proof. It's very durable under you know, different kind of weathers and the nanotech coating on the earphones itself protects from water and sweat. So even with your most intense workout, it'll pass. One of the features that the company advertises very heavily on is the ambient mode. And it says here that with just two clicks, you don't really have to remove your earphone, but you can continue normal conversations with people around you. I've tested this for myself, and honestly, I do believe that this is a very nice concept whereby you do not need to remove your earphones in order to hear your surroundings, you know. It's, it's very convenient. But one thing is that I'm not sure whether if it's just my review unit, but the microphone has it picks up a lot of static, therefore, it really defeats the purpose of ambient mode. In my case, I would much rather pause the music and I would hear people talking around me much clearer than using ambient mode. But maybe it's just the review unit that I've received. And last but not least, the Hummingbird series supports a lifetime warranty by Bleak. And you don't often see this by different companies, but yeah, it's a very nice touch for of Bleak to, you know, include this lifetime warranty in case of anything goes wrong. 
For the earphones itself, it's pretty comfortable to the ear, although <laughs> I had trouble really putting it on, but maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me. I've gotten used to it over time. But yeah, it's a very comfortable earphone. And what I, the thing that I like about it is that the strap, it's adjustable. So it doesn't have to be too long or too short. You can adjust it based on your preference. And I personally think that the red color really is very, very striking. And um, I've brought these earphones out, I think, to university and a lot of my friends have been asking about it. So I think that's a pretty good sign. Other than that, yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the Hummingbird series Bluetooth wireless earphones. For its price, it's a very solid product, but definitely ambient mode could be improved. Or in my case, maybe it's just, just my review unit. But hopefully, it turns out better for you guys if you guys have one of these. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section box below. Let me know what you think of the Bleak Hummingbird. My name is Nicholas, and I will catch you guys in my next one. I'll see ya.